Hey, hey, this is going to be a how-to video for um, gemstones divination. So I'm going to show you two different techniques um, for how to read with gemstones, okay? So how to do a reading pretty much with gemstones. All right, so what you'll need is um, a bag of gemstones. So for this first um, method I'm going to show you, this is how to do yes or no, how to get a yes or no answer. I did this for myself. Hopefully, um, we'll see if the prediction is right I, um, Saturday. I'll let you guys know maybe um, Sunday's um, daily tale reading, whether that prediction was accurate or not. So um, how this works is you take your black bag of crystals and um, you're just going to focus on the question. Think about the yes or no question. So say, um, will I be able to go to In-N-Out Burger today? I'm always talking about food, <laughs> so that's typical. So will I be able to go out to In-N-Out Burger today? So you would think about that. Um, then you would close your eyes, think about the question, and pick out stones out of the bag. So... Um, go ahead and pick out like a group of stones, I would say. Like that. All right. How it works is if you get even numbers, an even number of gemstones, that's a yes. If you get odd numbers of gemstones, an odd number of gemstones, then that would be a no, obviously. So let's see. I have two, four, six, eight, nine, okay, ten. All right, so I have, <laughs> let me count that again. I'm goofy, I'm really goofy. Okay, two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. All right, so obviously that would be a no, okay? Because it's not even, obviously, 11 is not an, an even number. So I'm not going to In-N-Out Burger, okay? Boo-hoo. So that's a no. <laughs> so that's the first method on how you do this. And I'm going to show you the next method. Okay. So the second method, you would take a black bag again of gemstones. And you would pick out um, three gemstones. So this is a past and present future reading. So this would be um, like, okay, so rose quartz. carnelian and this is like it's a dyed quartz so I'm say clear quartz pretty much so you would do this reading um the carnelian would be present the rose quartz would be past and the quartz would be future energy so if I was doing a reading for myself I would say that this is more than likely um, about relationships with the rose quartz. It could be about healing as well um, that I had to deal with in the past. With the present, with the carnelian, I would say this is about growth, um, gaining more personal power due to this past healing in relationships or within myself. Um, also, wisdom gain from a past situation. Then with the clear quartz crystal, this is about my health or um, advancing in some way, trusting divine guidance. Um, so that's what I would say, like in the future or implementing those lessons that I've learned pretty much, okay, from these experiences. So this would be like a past, present, future. Pretty simple. Um, there's no other methods that I know of. These are just the ones that I've done for myself. Like I said, the yes or no, um, question is pretty easy. You just go off of numbers. Um, these you would actually have to interpret obviously with, you know, each healing property of the crystal or the meanings of each crystal. So I will let you guys know on Sunday's reading if my yes or no um, prediction comes true or not because I got a yes on the question that I asked so I'll let you guys you know let me know if that works you can try this on yourself as well keep a journal of the messages you get or um, the yes or no's and see if it actually does happen 
Or you can just try out for yourself just to see how accurate you are. Ask it a simple question like, is my middle name this? And see if you get something accurate or not. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'm sending you guys much love and light as always. Peace.